Hello guys, Josh here and welcome to another episode of my Carlisle United career mode. Today, we're starting things off against Oldham ha uh, Athletic, who are currently sitting bottom of the league table. So, it should be an easy one, but every time I've said that, I've said that, um, it, it's always been a, a tough game for us. So, I think it's going to be a hard game, you know, trying to jinx it'll be easy, but... Let's get into it. So already, Marin is charging down the left wing, gets tackled instantly. One thing I've realised as well, um, is that Cameron Borthwick Jackson is a left back, but for some reason he's playing up front for Fulham, so I don't really understand what's that about. So that's already le you know, a less of a threat than a striker playing up front. Right there, number three, you can see it in right there. So, they've got a left back plate up front, which is is good to know. So, I'm pretty sure it's the other striker, who's actually a striker, I think. I'm, I'm guessing so, but you, you never know, to honest, you never know. Okay, also, I've changed the uh, numbers around, you won't really know until. Um, until. Musiala and Campbell's back on the pitch. I've only really changed like two, two or three numbers around. So, I said for two episodes in a row before this one, I changed them and then she before I started recording this one actually, I remember I was going to change the numbers around and I did it. So, once you see Musiala, so you can see two right now, uh, he's Marin to number seven and then Ibrahim Aj. It's number 11. So that's already two numbers you can see, and then the uh, third one is just pretty much Musiala number 10. That's uh, that's all happened, to be honest. I think Major Lancaster's there. Tries a little pop. Doesn't end well. But instantly, back on the defence. The left back. It's inst insta gone. Insta gone. Achari. He's played through by Lancaster. He's still there. Oh, Achari, mate. That is your chance to score. What's he doing? Achari's back here. Oh, he had one very good chance. Marin's there. Weak foot. I think it's a weak foot. But Marin has got a goal and Oldham a 1 0 down inside 33 minutes. A very close range shot, to be honest with you, but. I don't really mind that. Actually, you can see um, Lancaster is, is now is now 22 instead of um, seven. So he's got Musiala's old number. That's all that's happened really, but with Lancaster. So Emmons one nil up. Hopefully we can keep this going and get a win out of these because we lost against 22nd last episode. Like after I said it, it was an easy win. So, if we lost against them, then, you know, imagine losing against the bottom of the table. But, thank God, that, that um, hasn't happened yet. Just yet. Obviously, there's still second half to go and stuff, but... I know what I was going to say. There's no way left-back scores. There's no way left-back scores while playing as a striker. Marine just run, mate. Just run. You have pace on him, so it's all good. Lancaster, oh no way. Left with that, Ibrahim. Oh, that was, a, that was a clean strike, you know. That was a very clean strike. Might not have been the best shot in the world, considering that it was an easy save for the keeper. It could have been more top bins, if anything, but. A Chari turns. It's the post. A Chari, mate. You've you had two really good chances, and you've just absolutely bottled them both, mate. Like, what are you doing? Marin's getting a lot of um, a lot of yards this game, you know. I can't lie to you. Casido, yeah. You never really want Casido on the edge of the box for a shot, to be honest, because it's never going to go back to the net. I'm just being honest. Never will score. 
Maybe inside the box, he might have a chance, but outside the box, definitely not. Which is why I wouldn't really mind like another attacking midfield, mid uh, midfielder, yeah. Because about uh, kind of like, what's in there again? Preston can be the box of box slash defensive midfielder. So is that a Chari? That better be a Chari. Every Marge. Okay, fair enough. Actually, what was a Chari? We what? I thought they looked exactly the same for me there, but Chari finally grabs his goal outside the box. He's had two chances inside the box and he's balled them both. But outside, he finally gets his goal. And the, those two look exactly the same, which is why I said Ibrahim Marsh for, but it was a Chari. So, I mean, he's finally got his goal to be fair. Chari's picked up the ball at the right wing. Preston's there now. Ibrahim Arj is there. Turns, shoots at the keeper. I got it. Big Derek and the boys. Can not slate and the player. Keep it in. Two minutes stoppages. Oh, imagine. Oh. Is that Marin? I think I was Marin. The new number seven. Coming in clinical this game. Very clinical to be fair. Picks up uh, up the ball. I think from Preston, right? Yeah, gets tackled. Takes it inside. Bottom corner. No save on that one. How many goals he got this season? Eight goals. You know, that's, that's respectable. And the next match is in the FA Cup against Huddersfield. I'm not gonna lie, I do expect it to be quite a hard game. Also, the January transfer window is open, so we will maybe try and move a few players on, or we could just wait until next season, which we'll, I'll probably more than likely do. To be honest with you, um, to be fair, I am happy with the squad. To be completely honest, I am. But um, Casado is sort of bringing down the ship a little bit. So if I can sort of get a centre mid on loan or just next season get a new centre mid, I definitely will. But for now, all the focus is in the FA Cup against Huddersfield. So now there's just big, big pressure right now to uh, actually deliver in the FA Cup. Especially against uh, Huddersfield, you know. Also, I realised Campbell has 90 finishing, not 80 summit, which I thought last episode. He's got 90 finishing. I don't know that because the um, the skill game before this match was a shooting one with Campbell, and then he's got really good shooting stuff to kind of like. Very good, but that just shows how big of a part in this team Campbell is. Without him, would probably be like mid table, to be completely honest. Because Achari would be our main striker. And so far he hasn't really performed the way I, I hoped he would have, you know. Even as a backup to Campbell. I expect him to get at least a few goals here and there. Campbell, I mean not Campbell, uh, Butland. But, here we go. Campbell with the pace, the shooting. He's got air pretty much everything in his locker right now. How about a assist though? Try pulling back to Musiala. Unfortunately, the defender got a little blo uh, deflection on it, which helped him out. Right, I'm sorry, but this ref deserves a slap. Legit, I'll stop the shot. You know what? A bit late, actually, to be fair. A bit late. <laughs> uh, I kind of like, thought I would have been that in save, mate. I thought um, I, I got the ball there, to be honest. Look, look exactly like I got the ball. Until the replay came up and he's late. So to them, Mengi got us lucky there. Oh no, it's getting there being ref. Oh, I was. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? Grant's had two shots. Save them both. Get out of here. Get out of it. Grant, you've had two shots. 
from the pen, uh, penalty spot and you've scored none of them what are you doing ok after I remember Meng is on a yellow card so I can't really um, just dive into tackles with him or anything like that on the wing oh what is that I want just to reverse it onto the right wing not right in front of him like an absolute muppet ok that's a nice challenge that's a shock and pass from Preston there I don't know why I brought him out so far. And that is going to be a free I'm sorry, ref, but you're actually having my life right now. Two penalties, fair enough. But that wasn't that was not a free kick, mate. Gotta say, if, if that's a free kick as well, this ref is actually against us. To be fair, though, Bones are like three very good saves. Even with, like, without, like, without the two penalties, they had three really good saves. Five if you actually include the pens and stuff, but. I don't because I was controlling But well, eight shots <laughs> Yikes <laughs> Eight shots okay, Now that's, that's a yikes from me to be honest Play him off Okay Come on Marin Think it in there To be fair, is not really an uh, aerial Aerial player, so I didn't really expect too much from there, other than a goal. But okay, okay, I'm sorry, but what was that? What was that? Like, oh, I was playing Mengi nowhere. So, how did Mengi get a, a, a yellow card, but not Vardil? Personally, I thought Vardil was worse, he came from behind him. Uh, I, whatever. I'm going to say racism from the ref right there, to be honest. But, you know. But yeah, sort your refereeing out. Racist refs. Musiala, that was your chance. That was your chance. No way, just done that. There's no way. Wolves are too new against Stoke. What the hell? Was it the Carabao Cup? Like Wolves, um. Beatles in, I think it was the Carabao, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was the Carabao Cup anyways. Kamarin, let's go to Campbell. That's the goal, that is the goal, that is the goal. Rakia, Rook 1. Marin with the um, assist there. Very well played, I can't lie, that's a very well played right there. I saw uh, Marin stabbing and I thought, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna play through Campbell, you know. Plus, he's got way more finishing than Marin, so I thought, I'd be smart, lay him off, and get the goal. Now, Vardal's gonna be up, up the pitch, like. If he marks back stick, on why did you let him run past you, melt? What's he, what's he doing? Why did he just let him run behind him like that? Of all things you do, you let it run past you. Don't really know why. That could have been 2 0. Plus, your left foot, you should, like, you should just hit with your left foot. You know what I mean? Nice Hayden. Lay him off. Musiala's in. And he's banged in. I can't lie, that shot looked very, very dodgy from here there, but he scored it. That's all I really care about. Unless that he scored it. To be fair, I do want to see the shot, it looked a bit dodgy for me. Like, I tried going top left corner, not top right. Which I think it would look so awkward for. Yeah, it just looked a bit awkward there, but still. Still scored. And Campbell to make it 3 0 seals the win for us. With a very, very good shot, I can't lie, it's a very nice shot. And to be honest, there's no way you save this from 90 finishing. Pretty much the side netting as well. So the keeper's getting nowhere near that one at all. Right around the keeper. Good night, mate. 3 0. You love to see it. And that is 3 0.
against Huddersfield, and now we're through to the next round. Where hopefully we we'll play Wolves. I do want to play Wolves next, and I want to knock them out. Since they knocked us out of the uh, Carabao Cup, I think in the FA Cup, if we do knock them out, it will be a, an absolute scene. And to finish the game against Lincoln, who are sitting 17th, going to play obviously the starting, uh, the main strongest 11 right now that we've got, because I do want to guarantee us the win. You know, obviously with the best team we've got, it will just give us that extra edge of actually winning. So that's our bench, the usual bench really. Uh, we have signed a few more um, youth players in the uh, youth youth academy. We have like ten, I think, sitting there. There's one what's um, a goalkeeper who is higher rated than my bench um, goalkeeper. She's also sent me in, so I can actually sign him, which I'm thinking of signing him to be honest, and then pull my other one out on loan. Eventually selling next season or two seasons time. But until then, you know, we, uh, I, I actually want to do the right thing with these youth players, and, like actually get them um, loaned out instantly, then uh, maybe give them a season out on loan until. That's what I do want to do, you know. Try and find some um, talents and sell them for a bit of money, you know. That's how I'm going to pretty much build this team. Kamengi doing a madness there, to be fair. Well, possibilities in the centre. Edun. Excellent passing. James Jones. It looks promising. Hear that time. Preston. Campbell. Marine. Can he finish? This? Campbell. Marine. Pulls it back. Ibrahim Arj steps up in. It's a pen. Wait, he's pressing on pens. I thought Cam Campbell's on pens. I'm taking teams that I, I keep suing on and off. Wait, that, that's, that, that's just a shambles. That's just a shambles. Preston misses the pen. Just concede instantly, pretty much. That's, that's never a good scene. That is never a good scene. To be completely honest. They're through again, like what? Okay, good, you missed. So I say, there's no way we're going to turn all down. Okay, Marin's on the run. He's kept it in. Musiala. Cut the goal kick. To be fair as well, I think I've uh, found the centre back I want to buy hang about sides 2 0 down. How are we losing against the team in 17th? Like, this is what I mean, you know, getting like a good CDM and a brand new centre back. Because we can score goals, but just can't, like, we just can't stop conceding. Which is the thing, to be honest. It's just never really ideal. Go on, Cal, shoot yourself, man, just shoot yourself. Should have shot. Weak foot or not, you probably had more chance of scoring. Offside. Come on, shoot! Yeah, he's gonna say, just shoot. Okay, two-one. 
probably be too late to actually pull a pull a uh, pull a draw out of this match, to be honest. Unless we small gear right in the box, right to Campbell, and it, it, and he just he just does that. Never mind. To be fair, we've had more chances, which is just saying something, you know. We haven't really we have been playing that well. Yep, lost 2 1. If only Pre if only Campbell was on that pen. You know, so after each match, I make the um, striker change and I have to keep putting Campbell back on it. Also, about time this has happened. Change position. Boom. So he's now an actual left back. The second option. Um, second option. Centre back. So I've got for him as a defensive. And then next season we'll put him more attacking. Because anyway, that gets his acceleration up. He's already quite fast. Also, he's defending physical and a bit of his dribbling. But that one there, uh, attacking, his ball control and tackling again. But this time his pace gets upgraded quite a lot and some passing. So that eventually, the next season after that, I'll probably just do some more for his dribbling, like a wide back, get crossing long passes and stuff. And then he's. Uh, agility balance and ball control will also be up as well, as well as his, some of his defending a bit and his uh, stamina from physical. So after that's him finally changed position. You know, like, you just don't understand how long I've been waiting for him to change to a full on left back. It took time, let's say that for a fact. But, anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please do smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.